Remember when Saudi Arabia killed Khashoggi, who was the Washington Post uh, journalist who was reporting on Saudi Arabia? Apparently, we don't sanction Saudi Arabia for doing that. Huh. Nothing happens. In fact, in fact, they're our they're our ally. Why? Because of the petrodollar. So, uh, so I guess I guess Saudi Arabia is not as bad as Putin. <laughs> so. Saudi Arabia kills journalists, the United States trying to kill Julian Assange right now. But Putin is the bad guy. Right? Putin's the bad guy. We're trying to kill Julian Assange. Saudi Arabia killed Khashoggi. But Putin is the bad guy. And the United States is the good guy. Again, we're the biggest terrorist organization in the world, the United States. Don't forget that. We're not the good guys. We're the bad guys. Here's another example. Saudi Arabia, Saudi operatives who killed Khashoggi where did they get trained? You want to know where they got trained? Uh, the United States trained them. No way. <laughs> Four <laughs> Saudis who participated in the 2018 killing of the journalist Jamal Khashoggi received paramilitary training in the United States the previous year under a contract approved by the State Department. <laughs> ah, they were the four who kept uh, trying to find the Krispy Kreme when they got back. That's what that is. This is the training occurred as the secret unit responsible for Mr. Khashoggi's killing was beginning an extensive campaign of kidnapping, detention and torture of Saudi citizens ordered by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman to crush dissidents inside the kingdom. They learned all that in the United States, huh? No kidding. And that's something. <laughs> Boy, we got they could teach anything here in the United States. Am I right? <laughs> God, we got the best teachers. There ain't nothing we can't teach. The training was provided by Tier 1 Group, which is owned by a private equity firm, Service of Capital Management. The company says the training, including safe marksmanship and countering an attack, was devised to better protect Saudi leaders. So this that's by Tier 1 Group. Tier 2 Group does the waterboarding, I guess. <laughs> Louis Bremer, senior executive of Cerberus, 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 confirmed that the four members of the Khashoggi kill team had received tier one group training in 2017. And two of them had participated in a previous iteration of the training, which went from October 2014 until January 2015. Okay. Bremer said that a March 2019 review by Tier 1 Group uncovered no wrongdoing oh, no. by the company and confirmed that the curriculum training was unrelated to the murder of Jamal Khashoggi. <laughs> I'm sure that's the truth. I'm sure it gets good. I feel like we, we're done with this now. They yeah. investigated themselves yeah. and everything is fine. <laughs> let's, let's start the weekend. Okay. <laughs> well, we looked into that. <laughs> Nothing to see. <laughs> nope. We we looked into it. We did. We did. We looked into it. Nothing. <laughs> nothing there. No, we looked in. They didn't do nothing. They didn't do nothing. So I don't know where they got that idea from to go kill that guy. Or, We're called Tier One with such a specific name. Everything okay. we do is totally above board. <laughs> Members of the team that killed Mr. Khashoggi were involved in at least a dozen operations starting in 2017. So not their first horio, uh, horror show. I mean, right, rodeo, not their first rodeo. <laughs> the State Department granted a license for the paramilitary training of the Saudi Royal Guard to Tier 1 Group starting in 2014 during the Obama administration. Peace, Mr. Peace Prize. That was during the Peace Prize guy's administration. Mr. Khashoggi, a columnist for the Washington Post, was killed inside the Saudi consulate in Istanbul in October 2018. His body dismembered using a bone saw. Wow. U.S. provides military assistance to 73% of the world's dictators. Just so you know. Again, we're not the good guys. We're the biggest terrorist organization in the world, the United States government. President Obama, who hoped to sow peace, instead led the nation to war. You don't, you don't say that's his legacy. 
That people, and, and still people think, because look how pretty he is. Look how nice he looks. Look at his big smile. President Obama's legacy is endless war. Isn't he a great guy? We tortured some folks. We tortured some folks. When the devil comes, that's what he's going to look like. He's going to be smiling and have a great speech that makes you feel good inside. Ah. And then he's going to unleash the, de- the, the gates of hell, which he did. Barack Obama, when the economic crisis happened, he kicked 5.1 million families out of their house, said, fuck you. Go become homeless. He said, fuck you. As he bailed out the banks, he said, you need health care. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm giving you all this money to the health insurance companies and big pharma. You need health care. Fuck you. I'm not even giving you a public option. Barack Obama put immigrant kids in cages. Barack Obama deported more Mexicans than all the presidents combined since 1892. Barack Obama gassed immigrants at the border. Barack Obama dropped so many bombs on brown people, they ran out of bombs. Barack Obama did Libya, turned it into a slave state. Barack Obama tortured Chelsea Manning. I could go on, believe me, I could go on. How about Flint, Michigan? How about Dapple? We're going to let it play out. How about he didn't give those people clean water in Flint? He took a sip of the water and he could have given them Medicare for all and he didn't. Could have declared that Flint a disaster area and fixed that stuff for that people. He didn't do it. I could go on and on and on. He militarized the police from coast to coast. He didn't dismantle the racist criminal justice system. He made it that way. Him and Joe Biden. And then he came out and sabotaged Bernie Sanders in favor of Joe Biden. And then the only time he came out of retirement was to make sure the NBA didn't go on strike. If the devil comes, that's what he's going to look like. That's what the devil's going to look like when he comes. Hey, everybody, this is the part where I tell you where all our live shows are, but there aren't any. And then this is why I tell you we join our premium program, get extra content, but nobody's got a fucking job. So just enjoy the video.